Hello, I'm Jared with Rugged Made. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and assembly video on our sawmills. They're available in 24 inch and 36 inch sizes. These are designed to be clamped onto your chainsaw so you can turn those logs into usable board. We're going to do the assembly video on the 24 inch model. The 36 inch model assembles in the exact same way. So follow along at home and let's get started. In step one, take the adjustment post, item 12, and attach it to the clamping bracket, item 13. The two spacer blocking plates should face each other. These will clamp against the chainsaw bar. The adjustment post has measurements. And note that items 12 and 13 are the ones with the curved guide edges. These curved edges should be aligned with each other. Use two of the M8 by 75 bolts to attach the clamping bracket to the adjustment post. The clamping bracket has nuts pre-welded onto the bottom. Don't over tighten it this time. We want to allow space to insert a chainsaw bar later. In step two, take the remaining adjustment post, item 22, and attach it to the other clamping bracket, item 20. This will be the nose end of the chainsaw bar, so the nose guard should be installed between the two plates. The bar clamping plates should face each other. Use the remaining two M8 by 75 bolts here. The bottom of the clamping bracket has nuts welded in place. The bolts can be hand tight for now. In step three, attach one of the end brackets, item eight, to the thrust post assembly. Lay the thrust post assembly flat on the table with the curved edge facing up. Place the end bracket onto the thrust post assembly with the square notch resting on the square tubing. Use a post clamp, item five, and a U clamp, item four, to secure the end bracket onto the post. Use two flat washers, item seven, and two of the coupling nuts, item 15, to secure the U-clamp. This can be hand tight for now. In step four, insert an M5 pan head bolt, item one, into the handle tube clamp on the end bracket. Secure it with an M5 lock nut, item three. Use an 8mm wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten the nut, but don't tighten it too much at this time. An 8mm wrench and screwdriver are included in the kit. In step 5, use the same procedure as in step 3 to attach the remaining end bracket to the nose post assembly. The end bracket should fit onto the tube on the same side as the nose guard. Use the remaining post clamp, U-clamp, and two more of the coupling nuts and washers to secure the end bracket. Insert the remaining M5 pan head bolt into the handle tube clamp on the end bracket and secure it with the remaining M5 lock nut. In step six, we're going to assemble the thickness frame. This is made up of the two thickness rails, items 10, and the on-off guide bar or cross tube, item 19. Start by setting them up in the shape of an H. Use two of the carriage head bolts, items nine, and insert it into the slot on the cross tube. Then insert two additional carriage bolts into the slots on the two thickness rails. Line them up in the center. Place the tie bar, item 17, on top of the four bolts. Note the carriage head bolt has a square head. This engages into the square holes cut into the tie bar to prevent the bolts from turning when tightening the nuts. Now install the grip and handle, items 24 and 25, on the cross tube. Orient it so that the handle is in the center of the H-frame. Use two flat washers and hex nuts, item six, to secure the handle to the frame. Use two flat washers and two hex nuts to secure the carriage bolts on the other end of the cross tube. When tightening the nuts, it can help to apply some upward pressure to make sure the square head of the carriage bolt engages in the square cutout on the tie bar. The finger grooves on the rubber handle should be facing down. Rotate the rubber grip if necessary. 
In step seven, we're going to attach the two end brackets to the thickness rail frame. Start by orienting the clamping bracket and adjustment post assemblies correctly. The clamping bracket and adjustment post with the nose guard should be installed so that the nose guard is facing outward away from the handle. The clamping bracket and adjustment post assembly with the two curved guide plates should be installed so that the curved guide plates face inward toward the handle. Take the long round handle tube, item 21, and feed it through the two tube clamps on the end brackets. Use four carriage head bolts and washers to secure the thickness rails to the end brackets. The cast aluminum end brackets have a notch to ensure that the thickness rails are properly aligned. Your sawmill is now assembled. It's ready to be mounted onto a chainsaw and adjusted for different bar lengths and thicknesses of board. Be sure to tighten all hardware before operating. Thanks for joining us and have a rugged day.